These ski boots feel like inline skates on snow. And since I like skating backwards, I also wanted to ski fakey. So that's what I tried. I'll give you some tips on how to do it safely too. Oh you rolling raptors! The dynamics of ski boarding and rollerblading are similar but different. On ski boards it's easier to do a 180 swivel, so I first practiced doing that. This was the idea. Let's go fast, do a parallel stop and extend it into a 180 swivel. Even though an indoor ski resort is never as steep as a real mountain, just booming down that slope feels great. If you're comfortable with skating fakie, even when going downhill, you can ski backwards. It's the same really. First, stagger your feet, extend your leading leg as far as you comfortably can. Then turn your upper body so your shoulders are parallel with your feet. You really gotta have a clear view of what's behind you. I practiced skiing fakie several times before I filmed it, but I haven't got those early attempts on tape. Too bad, I'm sorry. But if you hold your posture and you know how to stop, you really can make some speed. After skiing fakey, I also tried jumping a ramp at the fun park. First time was a bit awkward, but the second time I already had more confidence. I want to stress this was only my third snow session. Thanks to my summit ski boards, I feel like I'm making awesome progress. Thanks for flowing, keep watching. If you want to see how clumsily I got into skiing, watch this next video here.